small and sleek, the River Simple has arrived. Hugo Spowers is the man behind the first car to be powered only by hydrogen gas. It's quite big for a fuel cell that's only six kilowatts. That only provides the power for when you're cruising. It only provides a fifth of the power when you're accelerating. All four wheels have electric motors in them, and they provide the drive, but they're also the brakes. So when you slow down, you regenerate energy, and it goes underneath the seats into a bank of ultra-capacitors. And they're able to provide 80% of the power when you accelerate. How do I fill up, as it were? How big will these stations be? Is it a question of like the electric cars that you could just go up and plug in on, on the kerb, or you actually drive into a...? It's just like a, a petrol filling station. Right. And there is a pump that would look not dissimilar to a conventional petrol pump, uh, a hose. You plug into uh, a connector. It's actually at the back of the car, if you want to see. And, and it's like a bend it's fitting light bulb. You just turn it a quarter turn. You then step back to the pump and press a button on the pump and it's all automated from then on. So that, that is actually the hydrogen refuelling uh, unit there. One of the key features of this car is that there are no emissions and it just emits water vapour. The vapour comes out uh, at, the front of the fuel, at, at the front from the fuel cells but it's very, very small quantities. These two bottom fuel cells come out of those little pipes there and there. But it really only drips. And uh, if you were to drive this car from London to Edinburgh, you'd just about fill a wine bottle. What kind of drivers are you actually uh, aiming this car at? People who already have a hybrid car, a smart car, or some new drivers who are just interested in being eco-friendly? Well, I, I know we're, not, we're honestly not targeting uh, drivers who want to be green. We're not premising the business on that. We want to uh, uh, provide, uh, uh, provide a service that is better than the existing option. How long is that going to take before we see a lot of, uh, of these hydrogen stations in, in cities? Well, we'd like to think five years. Five years? Yeah, we, we'd have quite a, la a large number of them. Um, we want to focus on regions. We, Europe would be an obvious one. Um, I, I, honestly, you, you name it. It's Australia, it's America. But uh, what role we will have in that directly, we're not clear yet. We honestly haven't made plans, but uh, the UK for the moment. And here in London, it looks like the concept of the hydrogen-powered car has gone down well. It's taken nine years to get to this point to launch the first hydrogen-powered car. It's energy efficient and cost effective. Production starts in 2013, and only then will we know if they've started a hydrogen revolution. Aisha Dergahi, CNN, London.